Hello, RGC, and welcome back to our wonderful, fun-filled podcast. Uh, as you see, we're doing something totally different. Uh, we actually have a visual of the beautiful manacle engage. I don't have a webcam because I'm cheap, and I'm actually cheaper than Mexican. I can't afford a met webcam. Uh, but how are y'all guys doing? Haven't seen y'all in a while. Doing good. Yeah, it's been a long time, but we're back and ready to do this thing. Heck yeah. Uh, we're definitely uh, super excited about doing this with, uh, with the video. Uh, we're also looking at doing this a lot more frequently. Uh, it seems like we're going to be able to, we actually got the iTunes back. I'm super stoked and super Yay. excited. Yeah, so we're definitely going to have not only the video version, but we're also going to have an iTunes version for people that don't, uh, where they want to take it out on their iPod and listen to us, you know, our sexy voices. Um, but uh, like I said, this is really cool. I'm super excited. We're definitely uh, bringing new things. I think this is going to be a big, huge step, especially if uh, in the future we, you want to start seeing interviews. You'll be able to actually get to see the interviews happen, which would be really cool. Um, you know, and then maybe Gage can actually uh, bring his boyfriend along or something. Who knows, you know. Hey, don't be making fun of Gage. Gage is, Gage is in a good mood today. <laughs> he is. You can yeah. tell. Look at that smile. Yeah. He, uh, he just got back from the free clinic. Oh, the methadone <laughs> clinic. Oh, oh, shit. He had to go down and I'm get hopped his, up right now. He had to get his <laughs> hepatitis, yeah, up right hepatitis now. test. I guess he... <laughs> What's up with you colors. guys He got a couple A's, a B, and a C. <laughs> it's you guys, the other fan. Really, it's you guys. Almost made the hepatitis honor roll. <laughs> oh man, man, it's good to hear y'all again. Well, uh, since we've been gone for a while, there has been a huge amount of changes in RDC. Um, and there's a lot of new people that I have no idea who the hell we are. Um, just to give y'all a rundown, you know, we, we do this podcast for y'all. It's strictly informational. Uh, we bring you, you know, cool and exciting, uh, news. We try to keep it up to date and bring you something that you don't hear every day. Uh, just let you know what's going on in leadership. Um, uh, big thing, of course, obviously, is everyone wants to hear their shout out on those promotions. We have a ton of those promotions. Which some may be accurate, some may not. Uh, we do have a thread where if you get promoted, you want to shout out, um, you can go in there. We also have a thread for if you guys got any questions or any topics you want us to uh, to uh, discuss. Go in there and under the podcast section and type away. Yeah, exactly, and, and and we want, like I said, we want y'all to be more involved. So, like I said, in the future, hopefully, uh, if everything goes well, you know, we'll be able to uh, actually maybe do some interviews with some of the leaders of, you know, different parts of RGC, the Renegades and, and things like that. And that's what this is for, to really uh, interact with the rest of the community. Um, but uh, going on into the promotions, uh, one of the biggest, biggest changes is our, our good friend Gage over here. Oh, no, I'm good friend. I'm good friend for you. You rip on me in the first five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Only because you can take it. Most, well, many I mean, I most can people take can take it. That's not one of them. There's many things I can take, and that is not one of them. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, yep, Gage promoted to uh, to an FC. Very happy about that. It'd be very nice. Depending on how you look at it. FC. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're the only FC we have. New brand, so. Whatever. You be proud of that. <laughs> I, uh, uh, also, nice. we've got a uh, couple, since our last, last podcast, we've had a couple of new uh, DCs. Uh, RDC Hexed, uh, Husky, and Orange. Yeah, uh, and absolutely. all have done a great job. Yes. And then, uh, of course, we had to get replacements for all those guys. And uh, we have at RC, we've got Creature, Hoplite, and Mike B, UNC. Yep. And all of them. I mean, every single one of those people, I mean, I mean, including you, Gage, you actually do work, uh, are actually all hard workers. I mean, we, you know, that's a big thing. You know, everybody that we have in leadership has really actually proven themselves. Uh, we don't have a single person in, in our leadership right now that doesn't push themselves and try to help RGC to uh, to really evolve into you know something great. Well, you know, um, 
all the leadership that we have right now are are members that came in and worked themselves up. You know, all all the original members have retired, so it's not like you know when the when RDC was first formed and everybody got their rank because they needed people for ranks. Every everyone that has a rank now has earned that rank and moved up on their own. So everyone should be proud of the work. Absolutely. Absolutely. Heck yeah, and like I said, and we have tons of new guys coming up. You know, I mean, uh, if you look in our, like I said, in our kernels, we have a ton of promotions that have happened since our last podcast. Um, RGC Villain, uh, RGC Insane, Encore, uh, Spectacular, uh, Killa B. Um, Brave actually just stepped down, which was, you know, it's um, just a sad thing. No, I'm just kidding, guys. He didn't actually step down. It's just a joke. <laughs> um, Martian 6, uh, Wazai. I wish you could have seen a look on my face when you told me that. Yeah, like, what the hell? Why didn't you tell us before the podcast? We're writing up notes. Like, what the hell is the problem? No, he sent out a PM uh, doing a big joke to everybody in his battalion, which I thought was funny, so I decided I was going to do it to y'all. Uh, Fing That's V2. really funny. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> MTD Racing and Alpha Gravy. Uh, like I said, all all guys have done very well and, like I said, are the future of RDC. Uh, and uh, with Major, uh, Scarecrow, um, and Captain Raiden. Absolutely. And moving down the list, we also have uh, some new lieutenants uh, fresh off of being a specialist. We have RGC Elusive King, who's a good friend of mine. Um, old member, I mean, veteran yeah. guy has been since back in the day really cool guy I got to meet him when he came back and uh, he's a uh, really nice guy very humble and all that good stuff RGC Remix also Lieutenant RGC Toxic RGC Archangel and RGC Smitty Warbin who's a pretty funny guy when you play COD with him I'm not sure if you guys played yeah. COD with him but he's funny <laughs> he, he's hilarious um, new Master Sergeants we have RGC Hashin 149 RGC Murda RGC Dreams, JNNM White, and that will complete the Master Sergeant portion of it. Sergeants, we have Azrul Fiasco, Lieutenant Daisy 1775, One Spooky Dude, pretty cool gamer tag, X Killer for Life, and that will round out Sergeants, and our Private First Class, Honorable Mention, Dirty B559, which is the area code I come from, so I have to see where this guy's from. Because that's the same area code as mine, so pretty cool. Yeah, and speaking of remix, she just broke a literally a crazy record. Yeah, I don't know if y'all yeah. seen this. Ten yeah. thousand posts in less than like three months. Uh, I've already talked insane. to her. I asked her if she actually has a life. Um, <laughs> uh, she said no. She said RGC is her life. <laughs> that's awesome. So, but definitely that's go on her page. Con congratulate her. Yeah. That's such a direct question. Like, there's no innuendo. It's like, do you have a life? That is the most <laughs> awful question. And you don't, like, try to go beat around the bush, like, hey, you know, you've got a lot of posts. What's up? You know, what's the deal? But just straight out, boom. But she's a nice girl. Yeah. She's really and nice. the funny thing is, when, when I seen her climbing up there, I was checking to make sure she's not spamming or anything like that. And she's holding yeah, no spam. 200 conversations yeah. at the same time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought I one of them was actually it. with herself. I wasn't really sure. Yeah. <laughs> <And it was. laughs> we just need to make a whole there. thread for her, just for her and social and sticky, and so she can just talk to herself. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, definitely uh, go on her page. Congratulate her. She's done really well. She's definitely, uh, I think, going to do really good in RDC. Yeah. She uh, she really likes to put out her input. Uh, she you know she doesn't keep it to herself. Uh, she also does a blog. Uh, I, I know some of y'all have caught my blog, but she does do a blog herself, and uh, it's definitely a cool thing. So go ahead and go check out her YouTube page uh, as well. I'm going to put a little snippet. Definitely check out mine as well. Um, but uh, speaking of all of these new people that we've been having coming in, uh, I mean, there's a lot of things that we like to offer to our new members, uh, and there's a ton of things that we do. I mean, um, besides offering this podcast that we do for y'all and, and the video blogs and the RGC TV, there's a lot of things that y'all can directly affect and actually join and become a part of. 
Um, one of the main things has been recently, actually, the design team uh, has really, really stepped up. Um, they're always looking for new members. Yeah. Um, I, I love the way they've really come out. You know, I mean, look, people, the people have got so many new graphics. I mean, I, you know, new signatures all the time. Um, I know Gage uses them a lot to get his his cool famous signature that he did not too long ago. Uh, and your been, awards, been all the awards. Really, really hard on all the awards. Redoing a lot of those, yes. making some new ones. Yeah, they have. Um, like like we had to create yeah. some new ones for posting because of Remix. Yeah. They've been yeah. doing yeah. those. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of the awards you guys get on Look at all these people trying to put us in more workforce. Yeah, exactly. They, they're and by the will. Yeah, and by they, the will. They also we didn't go down there and ask them. Hold a weekly uh, signature of the week competition that anybody is free to join. I've done a couple of them. I not one, but I've entered them. Uh, just <laughs> Ace has done a couple. Yes, I have definitely done a couple. Um, I have not won either. <laughs> so. You didn't win. I thought you won with your Darth Vader one. I voted for that one. That was awesome. No, I have lost every time. I have never won. It's really I sad. voted for your last, the Pong one. I voted for that one. Yeah, the Pong yeah. one. That was. I, yeah, I that thought, was I, thought I was going to win. I was tied with the leader, but I was like, no, nah, there's no way. That freaking Zelda one was pretty sick. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, like I said, the signature reads are awesome. They're really cool. Um, they're actually... Um, I'm the only leader out of all the leaders that haven't had their ward redone. Um, and there's actually going to be a poll up tomorrow, starting tomorrow. There's going to be a poll in my leadership thread. I want you all to go to it. You actually get to vote from all the different design team, team members which one is going to be my award. Uh, every design member has did a version of my award, and it's going to be available to uh, uh, vote on by the RGC. I'm going to have the poll up for about three to four days. Uh, and like I said, you all vote on that and definitely... Uh, uh, make them feel welcome that they've done a great job. Um, besides the design team, of course, the news team. Uh, that actually has been one of the, probably the hardest teams to really keep going. We were, we're really looking for a, a person to really, you know, step up and work with with RGC Brav, uh, Brave Brav, how you want to say it. Uh, he's He's been the only member, really. That's a great um, translation. Yeah, you like that, right? Pretty, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's been the really Spanish the only translation one. would be puto, but I didn't, <laughs> I didn't say that. That didn't come from me. Video can't prove it. Just letting you know. No, Braves a good guy. I'm just playing. But uh, he he really is. He's been the only one that's really been constantly stepped up. There is a couple of new ones I saw that have joined, uh, and I, I'm seeing good things from. Them, but they really really need you know RGC support. They really need some people. If you feel like you have the talent uh, to bring good articles and you know not copy something off the internet, because I could do that. I could copy and paste anything I wanted. But if you can truly bring original articles to the news team uh, and help out, then by all means, do it. You know, join up, give your input. Uh, you know, and, and really help out because if you bring in news, new, more new art, news articles, we can actually update the front page to make it look like there's actually articles coming in. Because right now there has not been anything yet. You know, so it's just, just you know, guys, understand there are, there are these things coming out. And like I said, with all these new members, you know, if y'all feel y'all can do it, go for it. There's nothing stopping you. Yeah. Absolutely. You never know. You never know what exactly. can happen. Um, now I know with Gage, I know you kind of associated a ton with the machinima, and I know Manico yeah. kind of snippeted in there. They're doing a lot of work. Um, I get to talk to Hoplite about it um, very frequently. Um, the Fall of Reach series is doing great. Um, I know you both were a part of it. It's pretty. It's it's awesome. I love watching it. I actually watch. Uh, I actually watch the. A few episodes yesterday, just just because it's that good. So if you guys haven't checked out the uh, Fall of Reach series from the Machinima team, I'll go ahead and put up a link in the podcast section, and that way you guys can go in there, check it out, and you guys can see it for yourself. There's a lot of guest uh, people from RGC leadership. I think Goat was in it. Uh, there's Manacle Aces, myself. Um, a lot of leadership members. Husky was in it. That, that did it. So it's not just Machinima, it's it's a whole RGC production that everyone got into and it turned out fantastic. Um, if you guys are interested in Machinima, 
um, which is a not it's not just a brand. It's not what you just see on YouTube with the Machinima channel. They don't own Machinima. It's it's just the name of it, like movies. No, not one person owns movies. So Machinima uh, and our team. If you are into that and you, you don't need an HD PVR. You don't need experience. If you're interested in it, go fill out an application. You don't need to be the best at it. I'm certainly not, uh, and I, but I had a lot of fun doing it um, with those guys. So if you're interested in it, please sign up. Go fill out an application. That way you guys can get experience, and maybe, who knows, maybe it may be a new passion. Uh, so I definitely check that out. Yeah, and like I said, it, it was... It's definitely cool listening and, and hearing and seeing how it was put together because you, 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 I've read, you know, read over the whole how everything's set up. And I look at it, I'm like, oh, wow, that's, you know, that sounds good. But when I actually saw it actually put together, I was like, oh, this is way better than what I was imagining. So it was really cool getting right. to see it put all together. Absolutely. Um, and now with the Forge team, uh, especially with, with Halo, you know, kind of on its rise right now and then I, I know a lot of people have been hearing about the next Halo uh, series I'm sure people have been hearing about that as well uh, the Forge team is always a great thing to have It's they've helped us with tons of tournaments building cool maps and and uh, and really really bring in originality to our tournaments yes uh, it's definitely something if you're good at it then you definitely know. I mean, it's not like I, I'm terrible at it. I, I wouldn't even try to apply for the team. But, you know, it's definitely people that have that experience. If you think you can apply and, and really do something for the Forge team, then go for it. Have fun. You know, build build these things for us. That way when we have our big Halo tournaments, you know, you can say, hey, I built that map, you know. So, like I said, go for it. Uh, yeah. And I know uh, the last thing, last thing that you know that's really cool to, for members to really check out has been the RGC radio. Uh, Gage, how, how, how all that been going out for you? We, as far as the radio, I like to pick spots. Uh, the radio was running uh, 24/7. I do actually have a new idea for it. I want to try to get the community more involved, not just because of getting more musical requests. But I want people to really get onto this. We need people listening to the radio going, at least stopping by in the chat box and saying hello, stuff like that. Um, but as well, the point I'm trying to make is I want to try to get more DJs. I want to try to get more people um, having radio shows for themselves. Um, I think it would be a good idea, um, at least having people, more people guest star with me. Um, if anybody has any events that they would like, uh, covered or think it would be cool covered. I've done UFC events. Uh, I did 134 um, and commentated over that. We do the MLG live streams where you can watch the stream and have us commentate over it. It's really cool stuff. If anybody has any ideas of what we should try to cover um, that you would tune in to listen to, let me know. Uh, go to the radio section let us know. It's not just radio. It's not just music. It's also uh, commentary, uh, we talk about life issues, you know, it, it's a radio show more or less like a talk show rather than just strictly music and stuff like that. So keep, uh, I'd say get ready for a PM and I'll describe everything to the community and if you guys are interested in, in it, then we can get the radio running 100%. <clears throat> but uh, as of right now, we haven't really been doing a lot with it. Yeah. Expect new well, news this week. Well, it's always, you know, there's always going to be downtime, I mean, and you can't run it forever. And, you know, you can right. only take so much Mexican music, you know, it just kind of <laughs> needs to be changed out. Exactly. <laughs> and that's why we need more DJs. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and, and more unique radio shows, you know, not just, uh, you know, the standard stuff. You know, if somebody in, in RGC... And if I think that this would be a good idea, if somebody is super big, you know, loves soccer, you know, if the, when the World Cup comes around, have them do a radio show, do commentary. So that pe the way people, you know, are into that during the Super Bowl. No one would tune in to listen to me commentate on the Super Bowl because they're, <laughs> they're too busy listening to the other guys. But we could do that. You know what I'm saying? It's not the radio show. I, I would love not. to hear you yell goal on the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it if somebody paid me to do it. But I wouldn't look like an idiot just because of, just because. I mean, that's, 
Uh, what do I look like to you? Why do you always got to fuck with me? I, what, what is this? <laughs> oh, it's the fun. It's the fun of it. I know. Oh. We're having a good time. <laughs> Besides all the fun, right? we have a huge review from you, I'm hearing. What kind we of review do. did you do for that is Yeah, that's what I've, that's what I've we heard. We are doing... That's what we heard. Well, I'm doing Gears of War 3. I actually had the privilege to play, like, half of it um, the other day when um, my sister's boyfriend brought it over. He had bought it. I didn't buy it. Uh, I wanted to buy it, but I'm still trying to pay off other stuff. But I got to play uh, up until the end of Act 3, I believe it was, um, which is awesome. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, so you'll have to tune in and listen don't to the spoil review. It for me. Well, what do you mean I won't spoil it for you? What the hell are you talking about? I probably won't play it. I'm still got oh, that. Yeah, just the cops That's a whole that segment. I got that police that's order. a whole new segment. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole new podcast. Just in why Manacle will not play Gears of War 3. I hate Gears of War. I, I think me and Manacle so are the worst two in it. RDC. I don't mind, I don't mind yeah. the, uh, you know, the story. But to go online yeah. and play, oh my god. It, it's it's frustrating. Yeah. Just to say the least, it's frustrating. But I'll tell you what, playing Gears of War 2 as much as I have with Hexed and all the people from Trinity and all the people on the Gears of War Renegade team, um, Gears of War 3 from just playing the beta was like 50% better than Gears of War 2. It's, 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 it has more of that multiplayer COD feel to it. You know, which is which is nice. It's not just its own little entity anymore. It's kind of sounds mixed. like a lie to me. <laughs> it's definitely not a lie. I wouldn't lie to you. It's bullshit. I wouldn't lie. I don't know what you're My nose isn't growing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're talking about. It's all good though. There's, yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, if if I were to buy the game, which would never happen in a million years. Mm-hmm. What kind of rating would you give it? A nine. I saw that a few. A nine out of ten. Don't yeah, nine out of a hundred or fifty <laughs> or anything like that. <laughs> I saw that uh, Gamespot had it at about a nine point five. IGN had it at almost a ten. I think they were nine point seven. Um, I would give it a nine. I don't think it's that high. Um, but then again, that doesn't mean that I don't think it's a great game. The The story was great. The couple multiplayer matches that I had were pretty cool. It's a lot different than the beta. So if saying that Gears of War 2 was not as, you know, Gears of War 3 beta was definitely better than the Gears of War 2 multiplayer, and then the Gears of War 3 multiplayer is definitely better than the Gears of War 3 beta. So it's a huge step up. So I, I give it a 9. But I was a huge supporter of the campaign. The campaign is what really um, got me, and I'm not done with it. Uh, hopefully, I can finish it within the month, but um, the campaign's awesome. Definitely awesome. Uh, a few little highlights from it. Uh, I would say right off the bat, the game lived up to the hype. It really did. Um, as much as I know you guys don't like it, I don't like yours that much either, but it really did. When I sat down and played it for the little time I got to, unique gameplay is really what made Gears a top contender from Gears of War 1. You know, when they had to battle Halo, I think that was around the time of Halo 3 maybe? Halo 2 in that little area right there. They they lived up to that. With COD and Halo, they really fit in there. And with the advances of Gears of War 3, they're they're really pushing the bar, and they're really giving games like COD and Halo and and, and all those other games a real good run for the money. Uh, some pros, the game's pretty much awesome. I mean, it's really fun. That's what I would say. That's the only pro is that it's all around solid. The multiplayer is good. The campaign is good. Um, the campaign itself, the the first act. The first three acts that I played, you could make a game, a Gears game, in each one of them and just expand. That's how good it was. Now, a lot of people would say, well, doesn't that leave a lot of unanswered questions from act to act? I, I, don't, I didn't think so. I thought it pretty much answered everything um, I needed. But you could really take that, that app and expand it 
to where you could have a whole new Gears game. We're looking at three Gears games in just the first three acts, and that doesn't include the, the last two, which I'm really excited to play. Um, some of the cons uh, are just cons of any other game. You have uh, shotguns, which that's every what everyone uses. Uh, one hit, you know, getting two piece, all that stuff. So, you know, you have the shotgun kids, which it's annoying. Kill stealing is another one that's huge in Gears of War. Um, you get your kills uh, stolen all the time. But that's just like in Cotton Halo. And people who camp at the one shot. Uh, and that's, that's super annoying. But that's the same thing as Cod. You know, you sit with, you know, the shotgun. Uh, the silent shotgun people that Manacle hates. Uh, those are other things that are just really annoying. Uh, the motion sensors and yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> but I'm sorry, the shotgun in Gears is nothing like the shotgun in COD. I absolutely yeah. hate the shotgun in Gears. I tried using it, can't ki- kill anyone. They use it one mm-hmm. time, they kill me, and I'm on the ground dying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, I agree. Well, and, and the thing that makes it different from COD and Gears of War 3 is that in COD, you take, like, from Black Ops to Silent Spaz. But you get hit with it, you you have a recoil just from getting hit with it. Where in Gears, your screen just goes red or you just split into two. You know, it, you know it does, it's easier for you to rebound from getting shot, but you can actually make a decent recovery and kill the other person. Where in COD, you know, you get shot twice from a Silent Spaz and... You're all over the place. You, you know you can't keep it steady. So at least in gears, you have an opportunity to get shot once and make a recovery. So it's not realistic. Maybe you look at it that way. Maybe. I mean, I, I mean, the whole game in itself is is not realistic. I mean, I mean, geez. I mean who in the right mind? Who in the right mind sits down to play Halo or Gears and go? Man, that's not realistic. <laughs> Me? You're battling alien people that live underground. In Halo, you're battling an entire covenant of alien species. If you honestly tell me that there's realism in those games at all, you're fucking stupid. I'm just sorry to <laughs> my opinion, but those games are meant, you know, to be that way. I'm, that, that's just my opinion. I don't know. All right. But, all in all, I think with Gears and, and, and Manacle's statement about I'm not being real, <laughs> which is awesome. That's so funny. Um, I'd have to give it uh, nine donkeys. At, oh, donkey? What did I say? I think I just got choked up. What the? Nine donkeys. Don Kings. That's not even Mexican. The only thing Mexican about that is that it, you know, boxing. He gets some money from the Mexican fighters. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna get fired after this podcast. I'm done. <laughs> My career is over. I'm gonna by tomorrow. I'm I'm gonna not only be off the podcasting, but I'm gonna get demoted, get kicked out, man. <laughs> but anyway, I'd have to give it nine donkeys out of ten donkeys, and that's my review of Gears of War. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry. Well, uh, you guys had to suffer through that. It was a great review. Great review. Yeah. I mean, you're a little rusty. Don't worry about it. You know, jump across the board a couple more times. You'll get it back. <laughs> rusty. Did he go there, man? Cool. Do I have to I keep making this shit all night? One, first, I had to hear from from his girl, and then I got to hear from him. And you're kind of quiet, so I'll give you some credit. Yeah, man. Cool. You're doing all right. Rusty. Or just give RDC an update. If if you don't know, my girl decided she was going to call Gage Fat. Um, so that's been a pretty good eventful <laughs> talk the past couple yeah, minutes. That was great. <laughs> that was great. Because when she's forty and those things start to sag a bit, it's gonna be pretty funny. I'm gonna laugh. And I'm gonna laugh at you because you're the one that's gotta deal with them, so it doesn't matter to me. Uh, at least at right. least when my yeah, at least when I get older. Be sagging. No, at least when I get older and my genitals start to sag, they're going to be where nobody can see it. She's going to be like, karma. I don't want to talk stuff about your girl. She seems to be cool. But from one Mexican to another Mexican in Mexico, bam. <laughs> I thought it was usually a shank, but I mean, either way. Like this, you know, hey, in prison, 
as a Mexican, I could turn this cigarette right now into a shank. I guarantee you. <laughs> I could kill somebody with this thing. Fiberglass. Only in Mexico. Only in Mexico. But if she was in Mexico right now, she wouldn't have said that to me because she would be too busy at 16 years old with a wedding dress with fubus on. So she wouldn't exactly. have time to call me that. Please. Yeah, some soccer please. <laughs> Getting married in front of fucking Mexico City on top of a donkey. So, you know, that's all it does. <laughs> Or dog kings. Yeah. Dog kings. <laughs> wow. I'm not going to get over Anyways, that. I'm, so speaking I'm really of Mexico, go. speaking of Mexico, the Day of the Dead, we have the big Halloween event coming up. Uh, Manicle, I, I know that's been a huge thing with Hydra he was dealing with, but uh, can you kind of give us a rundown of what's been going on with that? Uh, yeah. Um, the, the DCs have really been working hard on trying to get a, uh, a, a big a big tournament going for Halloween. Um, they're going to cover a bunch of different games. Uh, if you go to the Halloween event section in the forums, there will be three different ones you can sign up for. There's a Mosh Pit, which will be Red Dead Redemption and Halo Reach. There will be a Gears 3, which will be uh, a 4v4 with one sub per team. And that'll be a team death match. Uh, and there'll be a couple Call of Duties. Uh, it'll be a Modern Warfare 2 free for all. And it'll be a Black Ops 4v4. Uh, I think that's a TDM and it's going to use the uh, MLG variant rules. Uh, if you go to each one of those, uh, threads, you can, you can read the rules and all that stuff. Get your team signed up. Um, I'm not exactly sure what day it was going to be on. But it should be coming up because Halloween's coming up. Um, but yeah, get your teams ready. Go in there, read the rules, see what you need to do. Uh, get signed up. There will be prizes, which will be announced at a later date. And uh, just have some fun. Absolutely. It sounds great. It really does. I know I'll be there. I hope everyone else will be there. I'll be trick or treating. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be there. I don't know. Depending on work scheduling, we'll see how that goes. But I would love, like I said, I'd love to participate, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, but besides yeah, the wait. event, I mean, there's uh, tons of other opportunities to game. I mean, besides yeah. gaming with your own battalion, uh, we are always having gaming competitions, and especially, uh, you know, we offer that chance for members who think they have more than just regular gaming experience. They can join the Renegades or the Rangers teams. Uh, I know they, I mean, pretty much every game you can think of that has multiplayer, we have some kind of team for it. Uh, you know, and it's, I mean, it's mainly for the, the more elite gamers. You know, it's definitely the people that want to take their time and, and really put forth to becoming a great a great member and, and going somewhere with gaming. Maybe they want to be more professional about it. Uh, and I know I, I kind of mentioned in my uh, most recent video blog um, and the people that have watched that, but uh, MLG has been scaled back uh, for this year. We, we have no, we're no longer sponsoring any more teams because we're looking to do more of our own teams for the next season. Uh, right. So uh, if you definitely want to go somewhere in the future for next year, uh, you know, now's the time to get into the Renegades, start practicing with them, get in with their, you know, GB matches and and uh, really focusing toward that next season. And uh, hopefully maybe we'll see you, you know, see you at, you know, Chicago or, you know, wherever the next MLGs will be next year. Right. And it's not it's not that we don't care about the MLG tournaments or, or any of that or that we're stopping sponsorships. The point is, is and I think the other guys here can agree to this, is that with the 2011 MLG season, we did that on the fly. We didn't plan it out, you know, as far as like, okay, we talked about it for a few months. We just went in and did it, and we were very successful, which is hard. I mean, we, a man of you know, talked to a lot of those guys. That was the problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we were, we, we just we had, yeah. had too much going on, and we decided that, you know, it was time to just, Focus on getting a team from RGC uh, or multiple teams um, ready for the next uh, the next season. Right, exactly. You know, and that's what it comes down to is that it's not that at any point did we do 
the 2011, you know, at 50% or 75%. We went at it 120%. But in our minds, I, I think, and I speak on behalf of, of, of leadership as far as MLG is concerned, we want to hit the 2012 season hard. We want to start the season off, you know, ready to go. We have a lot of time, a few months to get ready for that season, and it's really going to prepare us for the entire season instead of, you know, right now where it's like, well, we started, you know, kind of at the beginning, and it was a new experience. We have the experience. We know how these people are. We know what the MLG community needs from us, and we know what we need from them, and we're ready for the 2012 season when it comes around. So we're, we want to hit it at 150% rather than starting out and hitting it at that 120. You know, we're going to be ready for the 2012 season. So we will be back on that circuit in 2012. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, and those guys have been working really hard to uh, to get their teams going. Um, you know, they're always holding tryouts. Um, <clears throat> the Rangers uh, are, are, you know, getting going on a game battle. We even have uh, the, uh, the Vixens. Which is an all girls team. So if you're a girl, I'm not looking at you, Gage, but if you're a girl <laughs> and you're a gamer, by all means, give them a, give them a shot. They're on game battles, they'll be competing. <laughs> I, 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 you're so glad. <laughs> I, you, you don't know how lucky you are that this isn't like. 50 years in the future where, like, this is interactive video where I could just fucking burn you right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stick my cigarette shank right through my camera. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Pour oh, antifreeze coolant right on top of me. You guys ever hear, I, I know this is off, to, off topic, but you guys ever hear about that murder where the, where the guy, what is it, the guy? No, the, the wife. You know how they have the murder shows like Insane Wives and what they do to their husbands when they try to kill them? The lady, the dude thought he was drinking Gatorade, and she was poisoning him with antifreeze because antifreeze doesn't have a taste to it. Seriously, I'm not encouraging you guys to drink it because it will kill you slowly. <laughs> it will kill you. So don't do it. That disclaimer right here, don't drink it because you're dumb. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out the uh, Fall of Reach series from the Machinima team, I'll go ahead and put up a link in the podcast section, and that way you guys can go in there, check it out, and you guys can see it for yourself. There's a lot of guest uh, people from RGC leadership. I think Goat was in it. Uh, there's Manacle Aces, myself. Um, a lot of leadership members, Husky was in it, that, that did it. So it's not just Machinima. It's, it's a whole RGC production that everyone got into, and it turned out fantastic. Um, if you guys are interested in Machinima, um, which is a not it's not just a brand it's not what you just see on YouTube with the Machinima channel they don't own Machinima it's it's just the name of it like movies no not one person owns movies so Machinima uh, and our team if you are into that and you, you don't need an HD PVR you don't need experience if you're interested in it go fill out an application you don't need to be the best at it I'm certainly not uh, and I but I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, with those guys. So if you're interested in it, please sign up. Go fill out an application. That way you guys can get experience. And maybe, who knows, maybe it may be a new passion. Uh, so I definitely check that out. Yeah. And, and like I said, it, it was, it's definitely cool listening and, and hearing and seeing how it was put together. Because you, 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 I've read, you know, read over the whole how everything's set up. And I look at it, I'm like, oh, wow, that's, you know, that sounds good. But when I actually saw it actually put together, I was like, oh, this is way better than what I was imagining. So it was really cool getting right. to see it put all together. Absolutely. Um, and now with the Forge team, uh, especially with with Halo, you know, kind of on its rise right now. And then I, I know a lot of people have been hearing about the next Halo uh, series. I'm sure people have been hearing about that as well. Uh, the Forge team is always a great thing to have. It's they've helped us with tons of tournaments, building cool maps, and and uh, and really really bring in originality to our tournaments. Yes, uh, it's definitely something. If you're good at it, 
then you definitely know. I mean, it's not it's like I, I'm terrible at it. I, I wouldn't even try to apply for the team. But, you know, it's definitely people that have that experience. If you think you can apply and, and really do something for the Forge team, then go for it. Have fun. You know, build build these things for us. That way when we have our big Halo tournaments, you know, you can say, hey, I built that map, you know. So, like I said, go for it. Uh, yeah. And I know... Uh, the last thing, last thing that you know that's really cool to for members to really check out has been the RGC radio. Uh, Gage, how, how how all that been going out for you? We, as far as the radio, I like to pick spots. Uh, the radio was running twenty four seven. I do actually have a new idea for it. I want to try to get the community more involved, not just because of getting more musical requests. But I want people to really get onto this. We need people listening to the radio going, at least stopping by in the chat box and saying hello, stuff like that. Um, but as the point I'm trying to make is I want to try to get more DJs. I want to try to get more people um, having radio shows for themselves. Um, I think it would be a good idea, um, at least having people, more people guest star with me. Um, if anybody has any events that they would like, uh, covered or think it would be cool covered. I've done UFC events. Uh, I did 134 um, and commentated over that. We do the MLG live streams where you can watch the stream and have us commentate over it. It's really cool stuff. If anybody has any ideas of what we should try to cover um, that you would tune in to listen to, let me know. Uh, go to the radio section let us know. It's not just radio. It's not just music. It's also uh, commentary, uh, we talk about life issues, you know, it, it's a radio show more or less like a talk show rather than just strictly music and stuff like that. So keep, uh, I'd say get ready for a PM and I'll describe everything to the community and if you guys are interested in, in it, then we can get the radio running 100%. <clears throat> but uh, as of right now, we haven't really been doing a lot with it. Yeah. Expect new huh. news this week. Well, it's always, you know, there's always going to be gap time, and you can't run it forever. And, you know, you can right. only take so much Mexican music, you know, it just kind of <laughs> needs to be changed out. Exactly. <laughs> and that's why we need more DJs. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and, and more unique radio shows, you know, not just, uh, you know, the standard stuff. You know, if somebody in, in RGC... And if I think that this would be a good idea, if somebody is super big, you know, loves soccer, you know, if the, when the World Cup comes around, have them do a radio show, do commentary. So that pe the way people, you know, are into that during the Super Bowl. No one would tune in to listen to me commentate on the Super Bowl because they're, <laughs> they're too busy listening to the other guys. But we could do that. You know what I'm saying? It's not the radio show. I, I would love not. to hear you yell goal on the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it if somebody paid me to do it. But I wouldn't look like an idiot just because of, just because. I mean, that's... Uh, what do I look like to you? Why do you always got to fuck with me? I, what, what is this? <laughs> oh, it's the fun. It's the fun of it. I know. Uh, we're having a good time. <laughs> Besides all the fun... Right. We have a huge review from you, I'm hearing. What kind we of review do. did you do for that is Yeah, true. that's what I've, that's what I've we heard. We are doing, that's what we heard. Well, I'm doing Gears of War 3. I actually had the privilege to play like half of it um, the other day when um, my sister's boyfriend brought it over. He had bought it. I didn't buy it. Uh, I wanted to buy it, but I'm still trying to pay off other stuff. But I got to play uh, up until the end of Act 3, I believe it was. Um which is awesome. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, so you'll have to tune in and listen I'll to the spoil review. It for me. Well, what do you mean I won't spoil it for you? What the hell are you talking about? I probably won't play it. I've still got oh, that. Yeah, just the cops That's a whole that segment. I got that police that's order. a whole new segment. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole new podcast. Just in why Manacle will not play Gears of War 3. I hate Gears of War. I, I think me and so are the worst two in RGC. I don't mind, I don't yeah. mind the uh, you know the story, but to go online yeah. and play, oh my god, it, it's it's frustrating. Yeah, Just to say the least, it's frustrating. But I'll tell you what, 
playing Gears of War 2 as much as I have with Hexed and all the people from Trinity and all the people on the Gears of War Renegade team, um, Gears of War 3 from just playing the beta was like 50% better than Gears of War 2. It's, 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 it has more of that multiplayer COD feel to it, you know, which is, which is nice. It's not just its own little entity anymore. It's kind of sounds like a lie to me. It's definitely not a lie. I wouldn't lie to you. That's bullshit. I wouldn't lie. I don't know what you're My nose isn't growing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're talking about. It's all good, though. There's, yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, if, if I were to buy the game, which would never happen in a million years, mm-hmm. what kind of rating would you give it? A nine. I saw that a few, a nine out of ten. Don't, yeah, nine out of a hundred or fifty, <laughs> like that. <laughs> I saw that uh, GameSpot had it at about a nine point five. IGN had it at almost a ten. I think they were nine point seven. Um, I would give it a nine. I don't think it's that high. Um, but then again, that doesn't mean that I don't think it's a great game. The the story was great. The couple multiplayer matches that I had were pretty cool. It's a lot different than the beta. So if saying that Gears of War 2 was not as, you know, Gears of War 3 beta was definitely better than the Gears of War 2 multiplayer, and then the Gears of War 3 multiplayer is definitely better than the Gears of War 3 beta. So it's a huge step up. So I, I give it a 9. But I was a huge supporter of the campaign. The campaign is what really... Um, got me, and I'm not done with it. Uh, hopefully, I can finish it within the month, but um, the campaign's awesome. Definitely awesome. Uh, a few little highlights from it. Uh, I would say right off the bat, the game lived up to the hype. It really did. Um, as much as I know you guys don't like it, I don't like yours that much either, but it really did. When I sat down and played it for the little time I got to, Unique gameplay is really what made Gears a top contender from Gears of War 1. You know, when they had to battle Halo, I think that was around the time of Halo 3 maybe? Halo 2 in that little area right there. They, they lived up to that. With COD and Halo, they really fit in there. And with the advances of Gears of War 3, they're, they're really pushing the bar and they're really giving games like COD and Halo and, and, and all those other games a real good run for the money. Uh, some pros, the game's pretty much awesome. I mean, it's really fun. That's what I would say. That's the only pro is that it's all around solid. The multiplayer is good. The campaign is good. Um, the campaign itself, the, the first act, the first three acts that I played, you could make a game, a Gears game in each one of them and just expand. That's how good it was. Now, a lot of people would say, well, doesn't that leave a lot of unanswered questions from act to act? I, I don't I didn't think so. I thought it pretty much answered everything um, I needed, but you could really take that that app and expand it to where you could have a whole new Gears game. We're looking at three Gears games in just the first three apps, and that doesn't include the, the last two, which I'm really excited to play. Um, some of the cons uh, are just cons of any other game. You have uh, shotguns, which that's every, what everyone uses, uh, one hit, you know, getting two peas, all that stuff. So, you know, you have the shotgun kids, which it's annoying. Kill stealing is another one that's huge in Gears of War. Um, you get your kills uh, stolen all the time. But that's just like in Cod and Halo. And people who camp at the one shot, uh, and that's that's super annoying. But that's the same thing as Cod. You know, you sit with, you know, shotgun uh, the silent shotgun people that Manacle hates. Uh, those are other things that are just really annoying. Uh, the motion sensors and yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> but I'm sorry, the shotgun in Gears is nothing like the shotgun in COD. I absolutely yeah. hate the shotgun in Gears. I tried using it, can't ki- kill anyone. They use it one time, they kill me, and I'm on the ground dying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Well, and, and the thing that makes it different from COD and Gears of War 3 is that in COD, you take, like, from Black Ops to Silent Spaz. But you get hit with it, you you have a recoil just from getting hit with it. Where in Gears, your screen just goes red or you just split into two. 
you know, it, you know, it does, it's easier for you to rebound from getting shot where you can actually make a decent recovery and kill the other person. Where in COD, you know, you get shot twice from a silent spaz and you're all over the place. You, you know, you can't keep it steady. So at least in Gears, you have an opportunity to get shot once and make a recovery. So it's not realistic. Is just, I mean, the whole game in itself is, is not realistic. I mean, I mean, geez. I mean who, in the right mind, who in the right mind sits down to play Halo or Gears and go, man, that's not realistic. <laughs> Me? You're battling alien people that live underground. In Halo, you're battling an entire covenant of alien species. If you honestly tell me that there's realism in those games at all, you're fucking stupid. I'm just sorry to <laughs> my opinion, but those games are meant, you know, to be that way. I'm, that, that's just my opinion. I don't know. All right. But all in all, I think with Gears and, and, and Manacle's statement about I'm not being real, <laughs> which is awesome. That's so funny. Um, I'd have to give it uh, nine donkeys. At, oh, donkey? What did I say? <laughs> I think I just got choked up. What the? Uh, Don King. Don King. That's not even Mexican. The only thing Mexican about that is that it, you know boxing. He gets some money from the Mexican fighters. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna get fired after this podcast. I'm done. My career is over. I'm gonna by tomorrow. I'm I'm gonna not only be off the podcasting, but I'm gonna get demoted, be kicked out, banned. <laughs> But anyway, I'd have to give it nine donkeys out of ten donkeys. And that's my review of Gears of War 3. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry but, to be, you guys had to suffer through that. It was a great review. Great review. Yeah. I mean, you're a little rusty. Don't worry about it. You know, jump across the board a couple more times. You'll get it back. <laughs> rusty. <laughs> Did he go there, man? Cool. Do I have to yes, keep making this shit all night? One, first, I had to hear from from his girl, and then I got to hear from him. And you're kind of quiet, so I'll give you some credit. You know, man, you're doing all right. But Rusty, or just give RDC an update. If if you don't know, my girl decided she was going to call Gage fat. Um, so that's been a pretty good involved <laughs> talk the past couple yeah, minutes. That was great. <laughs> That was great. Because when she's 40 and those things start to sag a bit, it's going to be pretty funny. I'm going to laugh. And I'm going to laugh at you because you're the one that's got to deal with them, so it doesn't matter to me. At least, at least right. when my... Yeah, at least when I get older... Sagging. No, at least when I get older and my genitals start to sag, they're going to be where nobody can see it. She's going to be like... Karma. I don't want to talk stuff about your girl. She seems to be cool. But from one Mexican to another Mexican in Mexico, bam. <laughs> I thought it was usually a shank, but I mean, either way. But like this, you know, hey, in prison, as a Mexican, I could turn this cigarette right now into a shank. I guarantee you. I could kill somebody with this thing. Fiberglass. Only in Mexico. Only in Mexico. But if she was in Mexico right now, she wouldn't have said that to me because she would be too busy at 16 years old with a wedding dress with fubus on. So she wouldn't exactly. have time to call me that. Yeah, some soccer <laughs> please. Getting married in front of fucking Mexico City on top of a donkey. So, I, you know, that's all it does. Or donkeys. Yeah. Donkeys. <laughs> wow. I'm not going to get over Anyways, that. I'm, so speaking I'm really of Mexico, go. speaking of Mexico, the Day of the Dead. We have the big Halloween event coming up. Uh, Manacle, I, I know that's been a huge thing with Hydra he was dealing with, but uh, can you kind of give us a rundown on what's been going on with that? Uh, yeah. Um, the, the DCs have really been working hard on trying to get the, uh, a, a, big, a big tournament going for Halloween. Um, they're going to cover a bunch of different games. Uh, if you go to the Halloween event section in the forums, There'll be three different ones you can sign up for. There's a Mosh Pit, which will be Red Dead Redemption and Halo Reach. There'll be a Gears 3, which will be a 4v4 with one sub per team, and that'll be a team death match. Uh, and there'll be a couple Call of Duties. Uh, it'll be a Modern Warfare 2 free-for-all, and there'll be a Black Ops 4v4. 
Uh, I think that's a TDM, and it's going to use the uh, MLG variant rules. Uh, if you go to each one of those uh, threads, you can you can read the rules and all that stuff. Get your team signed up. Um, I'm not exactly sure what day it was going to be on, but it should be coming up because Halloween's coming up. Um, but yeah, get your teams ready. Go in there, read the rules, see what you need to do. Uh, get signed up. There will be prizes, which will be announced at a later date. And uh, just have some fun. Absolutely. It sounds great. It really does. I know I'll be there. I hope everyone else will be there. I'll be trick or treating. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be there. I don't know. Depending on work scheduling, we'll see how that goes. But I would love, like I said, I'd love to participate, but we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Um, but besides Can't the wait. event, I mean, there's uh, tons of other opportunities to gain. I mean, besides yeah. gaming with your own battalion, uh, we are always having gaming competitions, and especially, uh, you know, we offer that chance for members who think they have more than just regular gaming experience. They can join the Renegades or the Rangers teams. Uh, I know they, I mean, pretty much every game you could think of that has multiplayer, we have some kind of team for it. Uh, you know, and it's, I mean, it's mainly for the, the more elite gamers. You know, it's definitely the people that want to take their time and, and really put forth to becoming a great, a great member and, and going somewhere with gaming. Maybe they want to be more professional about it. Uh, and I know I, I kind of mentioned in my, uh, most recent video blog, um, and the people that have watched that, but, uh, MLG has been scaled back. Uh, for this year, we, we have no, we're no longer sponsoring any more teams because we're looking to do more of our own teams for the next season. Uh, right. So uh, if you definitely want to go somewhere in the future for next year, uh, you know, now's the time to get into the Renegades, start practicing with them, get in with their you know, GB matches, and, and uh, really focus on toward that next season. And uh, hopefully maybe we'll see you, you know. See you at you know Chicago or you know wherever the next MLGs will be next year. Right, and it's not it's not that we don't care about the MLG tournaments or or any of that or that we're stopping sponsorships. The point is, is and I think the other guys here can agree to this, is that with the 2011 MLG season, we did that on the fly. We didn't plan it out. You know, as far as like, okay, we talked about it for a few months. We just went in and did it, and we were very successful, which is hard. I mean, we, a man of you know, talked to a lot of those guys. That was the problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we were, we, we just we had, yeah. had too much going on, and we decided that, you know, it was time to just focus on <clears throat> getting a team from RGC mm -hmm. uh, or multiple teams um, ready for the next, uh, the next season. Right. Exactly. You know, and that's what it comes down to is that it's not that at any point did we do the 2011, you know, at 50% or 75%. We went at it 120%. But in our minds, I, I think, and I speak on behalf of, of, of leadership as far as MLG is concerned, we want to hit the 2012 season hard. We want to start the season off, you know, ready to go. We have a lot of time, a few months to get ready for that season, and it's really going to prepare us for the entire season instead of, you know, right now where it's like, well, we started, you know, kind of at the beginning, and it was a new experience. We have the experience. We know how these people are. We know what the MLG community needs from us, and we know what we need from them, and we're ready for the 2012 season when it comes around. So we're, we want to hit it at 150% rather than starting out and hitting it at that 120. You know, we're going to be ready for the 2012 season. So we will be back on that circuit in 2012. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, and those guys have been working really hard to uh, to get their teams going. Um, you know, they're always holding tryouts. Um, <clears throat> the Rangers uh, are, are, you know, getting going on a game battle. We even have uh, the, uh, the Vixens. Which is an all girls team. So if you're a girl, I'm not looking at you, Gage, but if you're a girl <laughs> and you're a gamer, by all means, give them a, give them a shot. They're on game battles, they'll be competing. <laughs> I, I, you're so glad. <laughs> I, you, you don't know how lucky you are that this isn't like. 
50 years in the future where, like, this is interactive video where I could just fucking burn you right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stick my cigarette shank right through my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Pour oh, antifreeze coolant right on top of me. You guys ever hear, I, I know this is off, to, off topic, but you guys ever hear about that murder where the, where the guy, what is it, the guy? No, the, the wife. You know how they have those murder shows like Insane Wives and what they do to their husbands when they try to kill them? The lady, the dude thought he was drinking Gatorade and she was poisoning him with antifreeze because antifreeze doesn't have a taste to it. Seriously, I'm not encouraging you guys to drink it because it will kill you slowly. <laughs> it will kill you. So don't do it. That disclaimer right here. Don't drink it because you're dumb. Um, but no, she seriously would freeze it and that's how she killed her husband. Crazy shit, wow. dude. <laughs> That's That's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. And don't make Sorry, anyone else bad. drink it either. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. That's not funny. <laughs> well, it's kind of not funny. Not funny. No, I'm just playing. It's not funny. It's not funny. Uh, <laughs> here come the lawsuits. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I can already see them now. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to go. Drink Coke. Damn it. Drink Coke right there. Smile yeah. for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Brings you're supposed to be, hey, that you should get sued for that manacle, not because you're promoting coke and you know like all the YouTube stuff where you get you know copywritten now, but you're a Dr Pepper guy. What happened to your girls? You can't be promoting coke like that. They're whores. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with that. Uh, I had to move on. <laughs> you had to move you're on. Like Coca Cola girls. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> They're a little more. Mature. They're more old class, right? right? Yeah, a little classier. So, Manacle, I know I, uh, we got to have one of your famous Manacle Maniacal Minutes. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know you definitely, well, I've got, what exactly? I've got plenty you? of those. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually going to talk about the uh, Battlefield 3 beta. Oh, oh man. No. Yeah. All right. It's come down to this. Yeah. <laughs> I played it the other night, like and I thought, you know what? I've got uh, a, mani a manacles maniacal hour with this son of a bitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, let's definitely check it out now. Everything I've ever complained about is all in one game. Yeah. MTV hit you up about doing a reality show just on this, just on the beta 3 of you doing your minute on it. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Yep, it'll be out next fall. Yep. <laughs> yeah, starting Snooky. <laughs> and, and she stars as your penis. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, let's definitely let's check that out. See how that, uh, that goes. Hello, RGC, and welcome to another episode of Manacles Monacle Minute. Um, for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm pretty uh, grumpy a lot of times and pretty opinionated and today I'm going to uh, um, talk about the Battlefield 3 beta this little motherfucking piece of shit just pisses me the fuck off because it they show you all this cool ass shit in the fucking commercials but when it comes time to play in the fucking beta do they give you anything cool to do? Fuck no! They give you one goddamn map and one fucking game type then you got to deal with all these little fucking little spawn camping sons of bitches who all they want to do is fucking just camp your spawn and get as many kills as they can. They don't even play the fucking game types. I'm sick and tired of you little assholes. I've had to deal with you in fucking Halo. I've had to deal with you in Gears. I've had to deal with you in Call of Duty. Now, do you think I want to play a goddamn beta where I only get to play one fucking map and I don't get to drive any tanks or fly any helicopters or anything? Do you think I want to deal with your ass on that? Hell no. You little faggots just piss me off. And... I don't understand why you can give us at least one more map that we could drive a tank on or maybe fly a fucking copter. Would that be too goddamn hard? Oh, you're going to tell me that, oh, well, we want you to buy the game. Well, with the shit I've been playing on there, I ain't going to buy that fucking game. you got to be fucking crazy. <sighs> I don't know these days. People are just retarded. This is the first beta I've actually been disappointed in because the glitching was shitty 
my guy would run one minute, the next minute I'd have to stop, back up, then I could start running again. Well, I guess I can't blame him. I wouldn't want to do what the fuck they told me to do in that damn game anyway. So you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. You know, it's just... I don't understand it. I just really don't understand why in the fuck they couldn't give you another map. It's it's crazy. Well, I guess that's enough for now. It's been Manacles, Maniacal Minute. Now get off my lawn, you fucking kids. Well, Manacle, that was freaking hilarious. Man, I, you really do not like that game. Well, it I mean, it has its moments. It's just, it always seems to be when I'm not playing. <laughs> Yeah. Like that, that Norm- normally something game. like that. Yeah. Well, normally every time he does his minute, I laugh and and have a good time. But this time it scared me to the point where I kicked my cat because I was so scared. <laughs> and yeah, well, it shouldn't have rubbed up against my leg. I just kicked the shit out of it. <laughs> Peter's gonna be on my ass. It's like the third time that I've had a major corporation try to sue me. I'm gonna have Peter on my ass now. Non-profit son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway, my rant is done. <laughs> well, RGC, uh, I mean, that, you know, like I said, this is pretty much how our podcasts are going to start being from now on. Um, real quick, guys, I definitely want y'all to, uh, you know, check us out. Uh, we do have a Twitter uh, at Renegade Gaming. Definitely, you know, follow us, you know, tweet how you feel about RGC, uh, make sure to follow all the leaders. All the leaders have a uh, Twitter. Definitely want you all to check us out. Um, there's tons of other things you can kind of keep in focus with our multimedia. We're really trying to bring you a multimedia experience. We also have our Facebook. Make sure Facebook is attached. I know everybody has a Facebook. Even grandmas have Facebook, so I'm sure our gamers have Facebook. Uh, there's also a cool thing. It's called Zoned. If you haven't signed up for it, it's a MySpace version for gamers, basically. It's really cool. You can get in. You can chat with tons of other gamers, not just in RGC, but just gamers all around the world. And that's where a good place you can recruit. If you want to get recruits, go for it. Uh, uh, we also have Gamer Warehouse. Gamer Warehouse is the company that stocks our RGC store. Um, right now, we are currently being restocked, and we should be back up. Uh, you know, as soon as possible. So definitely be looking out for that. Uh, you know, you got to have a place to get all your RGC gear so you can wrap it. You know, uh, out in public, and people be like, "Hey, what's that?" Oh, it's RGC, and you can kind of explain to them. Uh, like I said, guys, that's pretty much it for us. We definitely want to thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, I know we had a lot of fun. I hope y'all had a lot of fun uh, listening and watching us uh, be stupid on the air. I do that all the time, though, so it's nothing new. Well, that's because you're born that way. I blame it on my genetics, my race, my color, my hair, my my body. <laughs> There's a lot of things that go into my stupidity. It's not just one thing, but it's all good. But then with this oh, new uh, Ubu thing, it, it kind of gives me the feeling of the Brady Bunch. <laughs> the Brady you know Bunch I mean? squares. Hey, it's Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing missing, the only that, thing that missing is Al they're aces. Oh, hey, oh, I'm not. Yeah, Alex, he's, he's in worry. the middle. He's in the middle of mine. My my family li- lineage or whatever it's called, being Mexican, we do enough cleaning at hotels and restaurants and schools. Yeah, that's we, don't need, we don't need. I don't need, added added I don't need to be added to that. Yeah, I don't need to be added to that statistic. I don't need to be out. The only thing missing from that whole Brady Bunch thing. Is is a, is a Marsha that got hit in the face with a football? I just kick her in the crotch. I just got useful. <laughs> right in the tank. <laughs> well, RDC, uh, it's been a pretty crazy podcast, and uh, we definitely want y'all to, you know, thank y'all for listening, and y'all take care. Adios. Peace. Bye bye. Right in the tank. <laughs> That's awesome. That'd be funny. <laughs>